Most people are aware that Volvo manufactures safe cars. But what is less well known is that Volvo cars are also successful on the racetrack and in rallying. Most recently, it's the Volvo C30 that is successfully winning competitions in the Swedish Touring Car Championship, the STCC. Oh, the concentration in Volvo has been tremendous. We've had cars out on the tracks. First race, we were one and two in pole, then first and second in the race. A fantastic start. We won the city race in Gothenburg, which was really important for us. And best of all, behind the scenes, the publicity we're getting through the PR reports already in the first two races were better than the whole of last year. So the result of publicising this way has worked for us. Leading up to this year's season, Volvo engineers have taken advantage of the new Drive-E technology from standard cars in order to reduce wind resistance and thereby increase speed. A normal customer, what he wants is a very fuel-effective car. He wants a very safe car. And what we've done with the Drive-E technology is reduced aerodynamic drag, we've made the car more efficient as it goes forward. And those technologies are important for fuel economy, but they're also important to make a racing car go fast. And therefore the technologies work on this car at the same time, customer race car. But a great deal has happened on the racing side since Volvo made their debut with their first competition car. The year was 1928, just one year after the foundation of the company. And we can definitely say that motorsport has been important for the development of the motor industry. Volvo meant a lot for STCC. We've been with the series all the way through. We were the first with E85 as a fuel and therefore lifted the, um, the whole series image around the world. We're developing the C30, a new Swedish developed car for the series, and therefore we're a strong supporter. But also we've helped to promote STCC around the world. We've been to Thailand, we've been to England showing this car and the series it comes from. So we've meant a lot. And over the years, it can be seen that Volvo has been relatively successful on racetracks around the world. In total, they have won three European and two World Rally titles. There's also been a European title on the racetrack, as well as a European title in Rallycross. Amongst the many rallies that Volvo cars have won over the years, the RAC Rally in England, the Acropolis Rally in Greece and the Safari Rally in Kenya are amongst the most notable. This last event having been won by the Singh brothers in 1965. The most successful drivers include Sylvia Oesterbay, Evi Roosquist, Gunnar Andersson, Carl Magnus Skog and Tom Trana. Motorsport's going to go to smaller engines, same amount of power but much better fuel economy. And if we can present those small engines in a good way to the public, they're going to be equally excited about those engines as they are about V8s today. The Volvo 343 wrote the next chapter in Volvo's motorsport history. In 1977, Per Inge Valfridsson surprisingly drove home the Swedish championship in rallycross, driving the 343. In 1979 too, Valfridsson was again crowned Swedish champion. The Volvo 240 Turbo also had major successes, something that in 1985 resulted in a European Championship title for the Brancatelli Thomas Lindstrom partnership. The same year, Per Sturison also won the first Open DTM title. The British Touring Car Championship, the BTCC, saw Volvo on the starting grid in 1994. It started, in fact, with the Volvo 850 Estate, which was the first car with a catalytic converter for cleaning exhaust emissions in a racing context, something that caused a great deal of attention at the time. Later on, the saloon version was introduced, followed by the S40. Richard Rydell was the driver who made most starts for Volvo in the BTCC, and in 1998, Richard was eventually crowned champion. When we talk about motorsport in 2009, it's principally a question of the Swedish STCC and the Volvo C30 that is now run on environmental fuel, E85 ethanol, and that in the racing version develops more than 290 brake horsepower. Last year the C30 won two races and was the third best make of car overall. This year, naturally, the goal is to achieve even better results. We've got two basic goals this season. One is to win, 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 as you know. But secondly, to make sure the publicity comes out from the car to the general public in Sweden, but also around the world. This is an exciting car. It's fuel efficient and driving is a technology that works.